Howdy y'all, Fast Force 289, welcome back. In this video, we'll be working on my 1977 Ford truck again, and we're gonna be uh, adding some extended mirror brackets to the mirrors. So let's take a look at it, a before and after, and look at the parts and see what we got. So in case you don't know what I'm talking about, we're gonna go from this right here, just standard looking mirror, to this right here. And all it is, just a plastic block that screws onto your arm. There's no modifications needed. All you do is take the mirror off the arm here. You bolt it on this slide, put the block on here, tighten it down. And then uh, you have this knob here, obviously, and you can loosen it and it slides the mirror out. For when you're pulling trailers, you can see further behind you and stuff like that. But, and then you just tighten it back down, you're good to go. So yeah. Simple install. So let's look at the parts and see what we got. Okay, so these are the parts here. This is that plastic block. And all it is is two Allen screws. You take them loose. You, the mirror goes in here. And then that slide bar right here goes in this slot here. This right here is a plastic shim for the 1980s models mirrors. They had a thinner uh, arm, thinner metal arm. And it would just go up in here, fit into to hold it secure. And it just makes it tighter on the, the arm. But we won't need it for this truck. And here is this piece of aluminum. Uh, you could shine these up, polish them up to a nice shiny mirror finish if you wanted to. I'm not going to because it's not that important to me, but you could if you want to. It's just aluminum, so it's easy to polish. This is where I bought them from. This is the shop. Now, I ordered these off eBay, but this is the shop and the name of the guy that I guess runs it and is in charge of it. I've ordered from him before from my 76 Ford truck. Same setup, same brand, same shop, and great quality. Couldn't be more happier with it. And in case you're wondering what the total is on it, this is what it is after taxes. And uh, it's free shipping. And then this right here is just a simple instruction manual. And I'm going to show you how to do it. But this just tells you step by step how to do it in case you have any questions about it. First things first. First step is to remove this. This bolt here is a 9 16 We're just going to simply take this bolt out and the whole mirror assembly should come right off. If you go the proper way, that is. Like that once it's broke loose. They're generally not that tight. If yours is original, they might be rusted in there, but there we go. Now we can take our screws loose on this and slide our block up on this arm here. This is one of the most simple upgrades installs that you can do to one of these trucks with these kind of mirrors. Alright, now there you know. To me, there's a proper way, but technically you could put these either way you wanted to, but obviously it makes sense for the knob to be facing towards you. So then you can slide them out from the inside if you needed to. So I like for the screws to be facing toward the front of the truck and then the knob being faced toward the rear of the truck. Now when it comes to this hole right here, in the instructions it says that the outside edge should barely cover this hole, but to me it puts the mirror too far out. If you put it in where it comes this way, it's too far in. So I like to just center mine. You can do it however you want to, but me, I put the hole in the center of my bracket and make sure it's centered. And all I do is I just measure, it's about an inch on each side when they're measured properly. I just do an inch from the back side here to the edge of the hole. And then I know it's in the center. And these are a really tight fit to squeeze on here, but they will force them over that arm there. And it's a nice tight fit. And before I push it on all the way, I will measure with a tape measure to make sure I got an inch. All right, we're looking pretty good. So I'll go ahead and push it on there the rest of the way. And then check it one more time before I put the other side on. All right, so now what I'll do is also notice on here, there's like this divot. There's a recess in this bracket. The mirror goes on this side here with the divot and your bolt goes on the flat side. I'm going to get this put in place here where it's supposed to be and then put the other side on. Make sure you back your screw out so then your bracket can sit flat. You may find that the holes don't quite line up so I just take me a little rubber mallet and just tap whichever one needs to be lined up. This one needs to go back a little bit. Now once you got the holes lined up, you can start your bolts and pull it together. And don't forget to put this back in there.
Right, now for these blocks, because they're plastic, I've noticed that I like to work them back and forth. I'll, there is no torque spec for these, so I'll just tighten until they feel nice and snug where they're not really turning so much anymore. And as long as they're just good and snug, you ain't got to kill it. You don't, you don't have to over tighten it. Just keep working back and forth on it. If you notice, I use a short Allen wrench. That's so I can choke up on this. I don't have to worry about over tightening. If you got a longer one, you can strip these out easier. Like this, you got a little bit more control on feel on how tight you're getting it. Now it's time to install the mirror. And you can see they have these like teeth in here. This will sit inside that chamfer or that, that recess that's in here. Put in here like that, the border from the bottom. And you don't have to have any Loctite or anything because if you notice on the bolt, it's got these like little cleats on there to help grab in there and lock it in place. Tie it down good and snug. Once all your bolts are tight, just slide it in and out like it's supposed to. Tighten your knob down and we're good to go. All right, and there we go. And this is a done deal and complete install of that. Like I said, real simple, real easy, nothing to it. And to me, it just gives it that nice farm truck look. I don't know what it is. There's something about, I just like this old, I guess, technology style of, of things to put on these old trucks. It just looks cool and it goes with the rest of the truck. And uh, if I ever need them, I do have them now. So that's good to have. Oh, guys, stuck up on me there. <laughs> what are you doing? Finishing just in my mirrors. Anyway, so uh, anyway, but that's all there is for this install. I'm glad to have this done. This is something that I want to do to this truck. You know, it's little, little touches, right? You, little touches you do to your vehicle to make it yours. I don't really need these. I'm not, I don't pull that big of trailers. I don't really pull trailers that often at all anyway, but it's one of those things that I just, I like the look of it. And not to mention that it moves the mirrors out just a little bit to where like my blind spot mirrors in the corner of the mirror clears this, this, this uh, partition, I guess you would call where the wing window is. So I can actually see the mirror better now when I'm looking over there and trying to change lanes or whatever. So it's nice. They weren't really in the way before. They were right on the edge, but now they're more clear. They're moved further out, so that's good. It moves the mirrors a little bit higher up, too. So, uh, to me, I just like it. To me, it's worth the install. It is kind of pricey for the parts, but, hey, you know, it's something that you only got to buy one time. Once you buy it once, you're done. You don't have to buy it anymore. So, to me, it's it's like an investment. You know, it, it pays for itself. If for nothing else, just for cool factor for me. It makes me happy, and that's all that matters. So, anyway... That's all there is for this one. If y'all like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it. We're growing more and more each day. And I can't tell you what that means to me. That is just fantastic. I love it. Thank each and every one of y'all. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the drop box down below and I'll get back to you. And uh, yeah, so that's all for this one. Quick, simple, easy video. Nothing major, nothing real special. Just wanted to share that with y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. And that's all there is for this one. So I'll see y'all on the next one. Take care.